This could get disgusting very soon if Joe can move in quickly. Mommy pushes in to take out everyone. That just happened. This is to tie the game. And welcome to another Zero Cup match here in Zero Hour. We have Hotel Trouble between Team Bone Daddy and Team Joe. On Team Bone Daddy, we have Bone Daddy, Weasel, and Blackburn. And on Team Joe, we have Joe, Psycho Sanctuary, and Mike Crook. This match... Well, here's your leaderboard update, really, going into this match. Uh, we have Zcot over the 200s i mean at this point you know this is there any doubt who's going to be uh, win this season <laughs> and then you see joe right behind him at 141 in second place hi dad in 10th with 42. Locate and the ball. for the defenders team joe is going to have psycho sanctuary with the AK, he's going to watch that balcony, and the defense will start in the second floor, and Mike Crook takes out High Dad off the balcony there. That was, uh, he's, yeah, he's behind the bar with the armor and the AK. Whew. I mean, if, if it wasn't going to be Mike Crook, it was going to be Psycho. They both had them right in the crosshairs. Joe's going to have the AK as well. He's going to have a sticky as his utility, which he has not yet used. Uh... Looks like for the attacking team, Weez is going to set up outside and maybe swap over to the balcony along with Poontang. Climbing up. Poontang's now on the floor. Weez joining him. Poontang will check the right door. That's the uh, room on the second floor. While Weez clears the left side. Psycho, Mike Crook, and Joe all on floor number two. Ooh, Psycho. Gets uh, Mike Crook takes out Weez. And Psycho is actually inside now in the conference room. On, uh, 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 shooting out to Poontang. And Poontang does not see Mike Crook coming in from the kitchen, and Poontang will get taken out. Team Joe will take the first point. And after one round, Mike Crook doing everything. Three kills, 333 damage. That is a three-man ace. As we start round number two, it looks like Team Joe is going to use all the armor they've got. Bone Daddy will use all the M4s they've got. Use the planning table to find the bomb. For Psycho Sanctuary, he's going to go with the AK and a frag. Joe will go with a wedge and the AK as well. Mike Crook has a wedge, and he will also have the AK. Deploying so in 10 pretty seconds. much uh, that will be the team loadout. So they all choose the same thing, with the exception of Psycho going with the frag. He's also going to watch that second floor balcony. Locate and defuse the bomb. Going with room 302 for the objective this time. High Dad is going to come in. The assault wheeze takes out Psycho very quickly on the second floor. That was pretty much immediate. And he's going to come in with the oppressor and a frag. High Dad has a frag, and Batman has the M4 and frag. Weez is the only one on the objective floor right now. For the attackers. He will have eyes in the long haul. Soon, we would think. It's Mike Crook and Joe are both watching outside the window. Looks like uh, Poontang is the one scaling the front of the building. Hi, Dad is in the stairs. Weez has not yet peeked down the hall, it seems. Unless we've missed him doing it. Hi, Dad is now on the floor in the stairs. 
and Poontang's still down below. Needs to rise up. Weeze is waiting for a peak that may never come. Everyone's just kind of sitting in position. Oh, my crook now sees that Weeze is out there on that... Sorry, not Weeze. Uh, Poontang is out there in that balcony. And knowing that that's not really something he can shoot through well, he'll just uh, let him go, but communicate that information to his team. And Joe and Mike Crook are going to sit on the objective. Hi, Dad and Weeze have now moved into the hall. Poontang will make his way up the balcony and get taken out by Joe. Team Bone Daddy is now in the hall. And Weeze will take out Joe. Ho! Oh. There's an example of pre-firing working out sometimes. You know, sometimes you may watch these and you're saying, well, these pre-fires are a waste. And there's another example of pre-firing working. Oh, wow. That was something. Weeze now finds himself alone in the attack. 1v1. Both Weeze and Mike Crook have full health. And Mike Crook honestly has the the better position defending. And we will see what Weiss chooses to do. I believe he's going to try to go around to the balcony now, which is exactly where Mike Crook is expecting him to come in. If you're not going to come into the door, where else? Weiss might be trying to psych out Mike Crook, maybe try to get him to miscalculate how many times. He popped up, but it doesn't matter. Because Mike Crook definitely heard that one. Weez does not feel comfortable peeking out of there. Might try to see if he can get his eyes on Mike Crook in that room. Weez is going to check this room, make sure he's good before climbing up and putting his feet on the floor. He does that now. Mike Crook hears that. He's going to toss the nade in. Looks like the glass will protect Weez. And Mike Crook, with the sight from the bathroom, takes out Wheeze. Team Joe will take the first two rounds of this match. And Mike Crook is running away with this. Five kills, 565 damage. He's a machine. For the defenders... A nearly similar story with Weez carrying uh, Team Bone Daddy, but how far as they still don't have any points in this match. For the defense, they are going to go, looks like on the top floor again. They were in room 302 previously. They are now in housekeeping. And it looks like the attacking team is... Discussing maybe if someone is going to be in room 302. We will see that now. Psycho is going to watch the hall the with the armor and the MP7. Mike Crook has the AK-47. He also has a frag. Joe with the AK. And that is a wedge, which he has used. For the attackers, Hi Dad is going to be coming up the stairs with a frag. And it looks like the M4. Weez is in the reception area with the scar and a frag. That scar could be very useful if it gets up to the long haul. And Batman has the M4. With the frag. Hi Dad is now on the objective level. The rest of his teammates are nowhere in sight, and Hi Dad's gonna go ahead and push in alone and bring his health down to 15. Hi Dad will wait patiently. Weez, now in position with the scar on the long haul. And taking shots from it looks like Joe. Joe will take out Weez. Free fire into room 304, just in case anyone is in there. And Mike Crook takes out Hi Dad, leaving Poontang Slayer Batman on his own. He's in the lower balcony, thinking somebody might be up there. Ooh, doesn't quite have the reach with that frag. And T 
Team Joe has the fourth floor pretty much on lockdown. Even if Batman manages to get into 304, and it looks like he's going to encounter Joe inside room 302, and Joe will take out Batman hanging off the balcony. Team Joe will sweep, defending in the first three rounds before the switch, as Team Joe will now be on attack. Team Bone Daddy will have to figure out can they take down Team Joe or can they just defend better? Team Joe has Joe and Mike Crook together with nine kills. The gunplay is definitely a factor in this match. On Team Bone Daddy's first defense, we're going to have High Dad with the armor and AK. Wheeze with the MP7 and Wedge. He's going to wedge that conference room door. Deploying ten seconds. Team Bone Daddy's going to go with that second floor conference room spawn this time. Poontang is going to use the AK and armor. So, Located. doubling up on armor, they are seemingly expecting it in different places. Team Joe is going to go ahead and a full-on assault through the emergency entrance. Mac 10 for Psycho and a frag. M4 and a frag for Mike Crook. Joe is going to go the long game with a scar and a frag. And we would assume they would take the balcony approach. They are. Hi, Dad is the one in the kitchen. And Wheeze as well is nearby. Batman, sorry, Batman's the one in the kitchen. Hi, Dad is watching from the conference room. I believe that was Joe going back down to take out the front camera. Mike Crook is now hanging off the side. Team Bone Daddy's moving around. Mike Crook does see someone at the end of the hall. The, I believe that was Wheeze. That was Wheeze. Not sure if Wheeze saw Mike Crook, though. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad has moved back a bit to Mike Crook's left. Neither seems to be aware of each other's presence. As Wheeze is now watching... The balcony from the conference room. Psycho and Joe are moving in up above on the third floor. Mike Crook might be waiting for his team to come downstairs to support. Which this is looks this looks like this is gonna be a, a pretty effective attack. Hi Dad definitely saw Mike Crook cross. If they can go ahead and pinch the defense on both ends. Poontang is going to see Mike Crook. Mike Crook is going to take some shots. And it looks like Wheeze is going to come into support. But it'll be High Dad that takes out Mike Crook. And Mike Crook will take out High Dad. So that is an even exchange. 2v2. Wheeze just takes out Joe. The only attacker left now is Psycho. Bone Daddy showing that where they might lack in the gum play when they're attacking, they'll make up for when they can get the chance to defend themselves. Psycho now in Mike Crook's old position. We would think that his team is providing him with some valuable intel as he's Trying to peek towards the kitchen. Where Poontang is. Psycho is, must have information from Mike about the kitchen because he seems pretty confident and insistent that someone's in kitchen, except he will peek and conference first, so maybe not, but he does take out Poontang in the kitchen. Psycho's only going to have 15 health left, and Wheeze now knows where Psycho will be coming from. Psycho might want to reposition with 30 seconds remaining. He could not afford to take it slow. Wheeze will miss the grenade, but catch a Psycho. And will gladly take that trade off. A 
the end of four rounds, it is Team Bone Daddy that's going to try to close the gap here, taking that fourth round. Mike Crook with seven kills, Joe with three, Psycho with one. Mike Crook doing nearly a thousand damage. For the defense, Weeze proving to be a big threat. Use the planning table to find the bomb. I mean, you could say what you what you want about the four kills now, but when you're defending, you're in a position of strength, especially if you're positioned well. Deploying in ten and seconds. Here we have Weeze with the MP7. He's going to place that camera down the hall in a very interesting spot that I don't believe any attacker will find. Hi, Dad is going to have armor. Poontang's going with the AK and a door wedge. Mike Crook is going to approach with the M4 and a frag. We have Psycho going with the M4 as well, and also a frag as well. And for Joe, he will use the Oppressor. Psycho is just making sure that the second floor is clear before setting foot up there. It uh, looks like Mike Crook is just going to take the shortcut race to go straight to the objective floor. Weez is figuring out the best position for him to be in. It looks like High Dead might be in room 302. Four, and Poontang is in the closet. Mike Crook will approach the stairs. Psycho, watching from the long haul, takes out that camera first. And Joe down below will be going up the opposite stairs eventually of where Mike Crook was. Mike Crook will retreat back to the railing as he opens the window. Weez has that information. Excuse me, opens the door. Uh, the Hi Dad is actually in the room across from 302. That is room 303. Looks like Joe is creeping. He is. Poontang is watching for the, for the moment. Weez is covering Crook. Poontang is covering Joe. Mike Crook will start coming up. Joe is also on the door. They're going to try to do Cirkinus entry. It looks like Crook will peek first, though, and Wheeze will reveal his position while Mike Crook taps. And Poontang now encounters Joe. Joe is going to toss a frag in there. Does that get in there to get Poontang? It does not. Wheeze will reposition to try to help out taking out Joe. Joe is going to get double teamed, and he will retreat back. Mike Crook is going to peek out into the hall, and he's going to take out Wheeze. Poontang will take out Joe. Mike Crook gets the information from Joe, frags that room, but just in front of it. That'll be out of reach. Ooh. Is High Dag going to peek out of the... Oh, High Dag is in a good position to take out Crook if he pushes. But Psycho is also watching, and Psycho is going to go ahead and fire on High Dad. Psycho's looking right, but High Dad is left. Will High Dad peek? He's going to get on the ground. And High Dad does peek shooting out the shins of Psycho, and Psycho goes down. It is now Mike Crook on his own, looking down the hall. Hi, Dad. Ooh, just comes out as Crook gets into cover. Crook is not in a great position, and gets taken out by Hi, Dad for round number five. Bone Daddy will defend again. This is the match of the defense. Mike Crook with eight. Now going over that thousand damage mark. Mike Crook and Joe seemed to have a plan that was going on, and and Mike Crook peaked a little bit early, which which kind of forced Weez's hand out. But uh, it's, it's just Weez chose to go out into the hall, you knowing that Joe was in the other ball. staircase, and they and with the double team on Joe, that just kind of where the assault fell apart. Um, but a good strategy, nonetheless. Maybe if they were a little bit more in sync, that would have been the only improvement there. Hi Dad's going to have the M4 and a flare. Weez is going to use the Mac 10 and he has a sticky cam that he's going to try to find. Man, you know, that sticky cam is such a good utility, but when you have the brain of Weez on where to put these sticky cams, man, it's just like an overpowered utility because he just knows where to put it. Poontang is the uh, going to go with the AK and he has wedged the door. Psycho spawns in on the main entrance. Joe it's going to come in from the emergency entrance side. Mike Crook on the balcony. I want to see if... Oh, we did use the camera. I think he... Yeah, we think we did see the go, that go down in the hall. And 
Joe trying to spot the main entrance camera, but I believe that was already taken out. Psycho has now entered the building. My crook will approach on the opposing side of Psycho. Psycho's going to try to take the long haul entrance, maybe clear from behind. Joe took out High Dad. And the defense is going to be down one. Weez hearing the nade from Psycho. Weez will peek. Psycho will be a little late on the shot, but do damage nonetheless. Not that much damage with 73 HP left. The frag is pretty spot on, but just misses Weez by a fraction of a door frame. And Weez peeks out a little bit too much. He's going to take more damage with 54 health. Psycho's going to retreat all the way out to the balcony. Mike Crook will take out Poontang with a nade. Joe is on the objective. Weez must move now. He's going to charge the room. Is he going to be able to take out Joe? He does. But it's going to be literally at the moment that the bomb was defused. Just too late. It was certainly a lot to ask to have to take out both Joe and the other attacker in the room. But that was just a mere milliseconds away from being saved. Or at least prolonged a little longer there. Uh, man... This, that was a pretty tight one, and milliseconds is going to give Joe the lead now, or, or extend their lead. Four to two. Use the planning table to find the bomb. Psycho Sentry has the M7. He also has the sticky cam. And he's going to place it, looks like, on a piece of furniture. He's going to figure out how to get it on there. Joe is the AK and a frag. Mike Crook has the AK and C4. This will be the final defense Located for Team Joe bomb. and the final attack for Team Bone Daddy. But we will see if they can extend it to another round. For the attacking team, we have Weez with the MP7 and a frag. Hi, Dad's going to go ahead and pistol it out against Mike Crook in the stairs, and he gets down Mike Crook. He will use the M4 for his primary and a frag. Poontang still trying to get to the building, has the M4 and a frag. Hi, Dad, with that exposure, though, has reduced his HP down to 53. Ooh, he's going to expose himself a little bit more, too. That is Psycho shooting at him. And Hi, Dad will cross. Psycho will be a little delayed. And Hi, Dad is going to retreat down to the lower floor and try to relocate. Weez is now on the top floor. He's looking for the camera. Joe is laser focused on the stairs in the rear. Weez is going to open up the long haul doors, and Hi Dad has now repositioned himself. Only 13 health left. All right, Team Bone Daddy. They are all on objective level. Joe just waiting for Hi Dad to come out, and Hi Dad cannot afford the hit if Joe can strike him fast enough. Psycho is also focused on Hi Dad, and Joe is going to take down Hi Dad. Just in too good of a position there with that door open and just a crack. Weez is now out in the hall in the open. And he's going to get taken out by Joe. And Psycho will take out Poontang with the frag. That'll be the match. Team Joe will win it in seven. And after that round, Mike Crook will get the MVP. Mike Crook with nine kills and just over 1,100 damage. Joe with six kills in just over 700. And this is a game where just Team Bone Daddy could not counter Team Joe's gun skills. Like that, that was one of those things where there was just a mix up in positioning. Uh, the, it's, and really, it was more about positioning than anything. They exposed themselves with, against good shooters. So after that, final score Bone Daddy with two, Joe with five, and. Our leaderboard update. We're gonna see Joe is gonna get that much closer to Zika, as close as you can get anyway. And you will have Hi Dad fall back a little bit more to 39. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. Hit that notification bell so that you will see all the other future ELO matches being cast for Zero Cup. And check out the link in the description below if you want to register in the Zero Cup Tournament, April 2nd at 7 p.m. See you there.